तेरी माँ की माँ की तेरी माँ की माँ की तेरी पूजा करने Social Security Administration, how may I assist your call? Yeah, hi there, sir. I was just on the toilet and I got a call from you guys. I was wondering what it was about. Yeah, just because we have called you, we have reported some kind of suspicious activities going under your social security number and name. We just wanted to know, is it you or is it someone else doing that mischief? Well, what mischief is it? See, right now in the situation, I'll explain you the flawed until activities under your social security number. Oh dear before heavens! That, okay. Just before going with anything, I will verify: is that the person right? Are you the right person to me to give all this information? Okay. So you should just be on the call and obey whatever questions I ask you. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, I humbly bow before you. Perfect. Thank you. You're Appreciate welcome, sir. it. Can you just tell me your first name and last name, please? Yeah, my name is Ron Johnson. Uh, please slow down and tell me your first name. Yes, Ron Johnson. R O N, Ron, right? Yes, sir. Ron Johnson. Do you yes. have any middle initial or something like that? Yes, yeah, M. I guess yes, M. Perfect. May I know your age, Sean? Uh, sorry, Ron. It's okay. You can you can call me Sean, sir. Uh, I'm 27 years old. You're 27. Okay, Sean. Yes. I'll just. Uh, I'm so sorry, Ron. Uh, actually, I have a you can call nephew me Sean. named totally Sean. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm like, uh, I'm used to calling that name. It, and it's Ron okay. and Sean is somewhat rhyme. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Can you tell me your zip code? Yeah, it's six seven eight nine eight. Seven eight nine eight. Let me verify that. Okay, thank you. Okay, give me a moment. Can you tell me your billing address? A billing address? Yeah, it's six o nine Avenue Way. Six o nine Avenue Bay. Can you yes. tell me the full address? Oh yeah, the full address of my house. Yes, please. Um, yeah, it's a little bit difficult to read. I'm in a different country right now. But it is V eight two six. Just because you have provided me an address of Mexico. Yeah, I'm in Mexico right now. You're in Mexico. You're not in United States. Well, I didn't mean to come here, but yeah, yeah, I'm in I'm in Mexico right now. Okay. Uh, can you just provide me the address? V eight two six plus R R. It's six nine A V. Can you can you just tell me again? Ula USS Nuova Leon, Mexico. I didn't understand what did you say. Yeah, it's Ula After USS R -R -R blank. Nuevo Leon, Mexico. Leon, Mexico. Yeah, I'm not actually sure like why I'm here. Last I remember, I was at my home. Now I'm here, but you know, this is how it goes. Right? Okay, so now in the situation, can you just uh, go ahead and tell me your last four digits of your social? Yeah, it's seven eight three one. Seven eight three one. If you want my whole social, I can give it to you. Sure. Okay. I won't mind. Eight six five. Right now, the thing is, I'll just go ahead and verify your social. Give me a moment, okay? All right. Thank you. You can be online for the moment. By the All time right. I'll just uh, verify it. Now, what was your name, by the way, sir? It's Jacob Merrick. By the time you can note down my name. Okay. Yeah. Let me get a pen and a paper. See, right now in the situation, your social security number is invalid now. What? Your social security number is invalid. You have provided me the wrong information, Mr. Ron. Okay. You want me to tell you the right information? No, I don't want to say just because you have provided me wrong information right now, and it is like it is getting me suspicious. What do you mean suspicious? I'm not being held by the uh, Mexican mafia or anything. Don't worry about that, sir. No, right now, and right now in this in in this case situation, we have been uh, charges under your name and your social security number, Mr. Johnson. There are two charges. Charges. Yes, charges. What? What charges? So if you don't know, I'll just go. I'll, if you don't know, I'll just go ahead and tell you that. So right now the investigation started when oh we have God. found a car, an abandoned car, in Texas. What? South border of Texas, a Toyota Corolla. 
with some drugs and blood traces inside it. After investigation, we have found that the car was oh, rented Lord. under your social security number. We have also raided two addresses registered under your social security number. One of them was raided by U.S. Marshals what? and they have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine no. and documentation. Some several bank accounts, no. debit card, credit cards, thousands of dollars has been transferred to different countries like Mexico, Colombia illegally. That is oh the reason God. Social Security Administration has filed a case against your name. So do you know any of the knowledge of these fraud and activities going under your Social Security number? I have nothing to do with that. Jose Gomez asked to crying? use my Social that. Security number. Jose Gomez. Who? Jose? Jose Gomez. Who's Jose? He's the leader of the Mafia I'm being held by. <laughs> He's the leader of Mafia? He asked to use my Social Security number. Don't you cry. <laughs> See, right now in the situation, right now in the situation, at this point of time, you are the prime suspect to this case because you no, are the... No, no, you are, you no, have it was been, Jose Gomez. You have... No, your social security number has been used towards this plot until activities, drug and drug trafficking and money laundering. Okay, okay, and sir. And your sir. arrest warrants has also been... Maybe it was his friend, Bob Lopez. Have you ever heard of Bob Lopez? Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> social security <laughs> administration, how has it checked out today? Yeah, hi, sir. I think we just talked. Um, I'm being held by the Mexican Mafia. I'm about to be beheaded. See, in this situation, my name is Jacob Merrick. I have already told you that I, will, I won't be able to help you out, Mr. Ron. But, sir, I'm dealing with Jose Gomez and Bob Lopez. Don't you understand what I'm dealing with? I do understand, but uh, right now in this situation, you need to safeguard your money and you are in Mexico, so I won't be able to help you out. Sir, but you said, you said that there was drugs found on the south border of Texas, right? Yeah, we have found a car, abandoned car. That was Jose Gomez's car. Right now in this situation, in this situation, if you feel so, if you feel oh, so, I you're know, getting arrested sir. or you're I behind know. bars or something like that. I can help you guys find Jose. You can just tell me. No, you can tell me one thing. You can safeguard your money. You can safeguard your belongings first. Then you go ahead and give any information about Jose. Just because we need to catch Jose from our side, not from your side. And okay? you, you need to catch Bob Lopez too. He's very dangerous. Bob Lopez? Yes, Bob Lopez and Jose Gomez. They're very dangerous. Are they your brothers? No, no. They're cousins. They're cousins? Yes. Okay, but, call me. I mean, call Jose me is Monday. the head honcho. Call me on Monday sometime. On Monday? No, call me. Monday on same time. Sir, they're, yeah. they're literally about to time. kill me. They're about to kill me, sir. You need to come catch them. I'm about to cry, sir, because I'm about to die. <laughs> well, I guess I'll never know what happened to Jacob Merrick and his wife and kids and whatever became of them because I'm about to be murdered by the Mexican Mafia. I just hope this video never gets taken down because I want you guys to know my final message. And that is, with great power comes great inability. Well anyways, I guess I gotta go face my execution for uh, quote unquote crimes against humanity, which is really, I mean, it really just means I didn't get Jose enough tacos. So, thank you Jacob Merrick for not helping me out, and uh, thank you guys for the support over the last four years, almost four years, it's been great. Oh, my soul is like so damaged. Oh shit, would you look at that? We just hit 400 subscribers. Wow, I am so happy. But anyways guys, I really gotta go. Um, so, I'll catch you guys around. Goodbye.